Right, hello guys. If you remember, last time we were building this rocket here. A lovely massive burning stage and then this orbiting stage and then finally this which will come crashing back down to the surface of Kerbin. Well, hopefully not. One thing I forgot to do last episode guys was to rename my ship, our ship, which I think we should call Kerbin Orbiter. Or Kerbin Orbiter. Uh, or I think we'll call it, actually we'll call it Kerber 1. For no apparent reason. We'll save that Kerber 1. Save, save, save. And we shall launch it. Yeah, I'll see all the launch pad. Or not. Sorry guys, I seem to be not be able to pause it. It does matter because we're on the launch pad anyway now. For some reason it takes forever to load. So about that guys. Eventually I will get this sorted. Yeah I can just figure out how to support it so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys so we're ready we're on the launch pad. Uh, I've just noticed we've got Jebediah Kerbin down here in the down here on the far right hand side. He's just he's just the ace of this game. He's the best in this game. He's always happy on launch, he never cries, he never gets upset because he thinks he's going to die. He's a good little Kerbin. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. Did it right. So, uh, for, what's, I guess I forgot to do last episode again, I forgot to do the staging. So, I have now not a clue what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, it looks alright. I just need to instantly launch these two stages. And for some reason, it is not. There we go. Let's be throttle up. Slam on my SAS. And after a countdown of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. Or maybe not. <sighs> a quick end fight before Jebediah dies. Phew! We cannot live without Jebediah. Jebediah is the best Kerbal ever. Oh, we glitched out, we can see the moon. Okay, currently we cannot see Jebediah, but he is alive and well. And I'm going to see if I can temporarily do, some, do the staging to make it work. Just drag these. Which means we're launching at the same time as they let go of us. So, three, two, one, ignition. And it's a fairly smooth takeoff, to be honest. And I will try and fix the audio so I can actually listen to it rather than um, it being me talking, because I think I'll be miles better if you can hear the like, massive whoosh sound it's making at the moment. I don't do it justice, it's a lot, it sounds a lot nicer than that. At least you do have a little bit of an overheat, and we're going through the fuel, fuel a bit quicker than I expected, but I kind of expected that, in a weird sort of way. We are taking off pretty quick, it's being a bit like a dart here. We may have to dip into our second stage to pause into the orbit, but that doesn't matter too much. I'll take that off, just see what the RCS did to her. Uh, rocket then. We're going to throttle down a little bit, seeing as we don't think we really need full throttle at the moment. What I'm going to do is looking at my surface speed at the moment, making sure it keeps climbing, but I also have no overheat and my fuel does not drain at an alarming rate. Okay, just gently turn it down so I can keep it going. And the speed is Increasing considerably, and soon we'll have to start thinking about uh, doing a gravity turn. So I'm getting tons of vertical speed, and soon I want to put myself into an orbit. Uh, I'm going to do that when we get into the dark blue bit here, if you can see my cursor, which I'm not sure you can. I 
think there's a feature of the game which I haven't showed you which allows me to do that. And it'll bore and like blow everything up and stuff. And I need to throttle down still. And it's still speeding up and I've got hardly any throttle on open. I can speed up considerably, this rocket must be quite light. Right then. I think now we'll start now we've got all bits, I'll start my gravity turn. Start gently. It'll work for me. Yeah, there you go. Tip up to 90 degrees. And then we'll throttle up. And it'll actually be one of the spaceships that actually works quite well. As most spaceships don't really work this well. Pause. Oh, spot on. Throttle up. You try and increase this so it can go around the planet. Stop that there actually. Glide up to our apoapsis. Which is a nice 180 kind of height. And we'll add ourselves a maneuver node. Which basically is a way of telling you where about you are in your orbit. Myself a periapsis. It's higher than that. Six. One six eight. One seven three. One eight two. One seven six. One eight four. Right, I don't think, think we're going to get much be better orbit than that. So, I'm going to leave from that view. I'm going to position myself for my orbital burn. Which I can't actually see when it is. Just doing. As I said, I'm having some trouble here. Yeah, now I've left the atmosphere, I'm having some trouble. So I'll take that off actually. It's really not helping us at all. Gotta try and counter that spin. And I really need to know where my bird is, but it's not telling me. Which is annoying. I've got that I can travel where it is. Yeah, I need to be going the opposite direction to that. I seem to be stuck here actually guys. It's a terrible job. Just grab this without my ah I can't see the eyes showing to the recording window blocking my view. And I now know my problem with this rocket. Uh, it needs more RCS, as this thing is sluggish in space. Because we've still got the whole ship we took off with. But actually, we were very, very, very nearly out of fuel. Come on. Get to that point. Should be good once we've ditched this extra bit of the stage uh, for the launch. And previous experience in other YouTube videos have told me that launching before the apoapsis is actually quite good, but like just before the apoapsis, because the estimated burn time for this isn't particularly good. Especially since I'm pretty much out of fuel at this stage. Yeah, I've got no fuel left at this stage. I'm gonna have to pretty much ditch this stage now and get the next one ready. Which means this will eventually fall back to curb and blow up with a tiny amount of fuel that he has left. Just simply because it don't want debris in space. This debris in space is highly annoying. There's not really many ways you can bring it back down to Kerbin. Oh, this is a transfer thing. Transfer things. Fuel from different parts of the ship to another part of the ship. Whilst we're talking, we have missed our apparatus. So I'm going to throttle up. And hopefully, we won't mess up our orbit too bad. Yeah. I'm going to have to say goodbye and give you the results next time. Because very near the end of the...